many folk are listening in this evening, Sonia? Who There's are they? There's 16 on right now. And it's um, Carl Betzoller, Irene Slesser, um, Sherry Langman, um, Lynette Langman, Kathy Doe's, Sandy McDonald, Patterson. Um, who else is here? Joanne Hooper and Alan Adams and Linda Como and Darlene Ettinger. Good, good, wonderful. Nice to have all of you with us this evening. If you have any prayer requests, if you'd like to just jot them down, Sonia's with us right now, and so it's able to do it a lot faster. So if you have a prayer request, just send it in and we'll add it to our list and hopefully pray with you before we leave. <laughs>
when your body suffers pain and in your health you can't
there is a few other people who have joined. Ross Anderson said hello, and Phyllis Twig Wilson is watching. Hi, right. Phyllis. Are, are you living in Barry now, or remember Phyllis Lorna? It's a long time since we maybe mid maybe Phyllis. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else there? No, I um no other comments that I had on my own. And Joy, who's that? Joy Lewis? And she's a uh, enormous guy.
Somebody else listening in there, Sonia? Um, Sharon Sutton just um, came on, mm -hmm. and that's it. Let's see if the last person. Joy Laws. Is that what? J. J. Laws. J. Laws, yes. Do we have any of our friends from Trinidad tuning in this evening? I haven't heard their names. No, I had a couple of them hit us earlier when we announced we were going to be here. I had the privilege of several mission trips to Trinidad, so that's why we have a lot of friends there. <clears throat> Did you hear my voice disappear? Oh, Trisha um, Ike. Trish? Trish, would you send me your email? I mean, your land mail? And she said, Happy birthday, Lorna McDonald. We Thank love you. you. And Sandy um, Patterson said, Hey, everyone. Happy big present day, Aunt Lorna. Wow. This is the big present. And Kathy Doe said that she's going to be singing for you. <coughs> so I well, told her to do well, it very nice. loudly and we'll look forward.
turn the camera on for a moment, uh, Jason, over here to the birthday girl. No, um, don't, John. Sonia, <laughs> you know, this is your mother over here that doesn't want the camera on her. Yeah. You want to smile and say hello to the camera? <laughs> Lorna, yeah. how, how, many, how many years are you today? 76. You're not afraid to tell anybody? <laughs> yes, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> she knows that I already let the cat out of the bag. 76, and we've been married how many years now? 52, and almost 53. <laughs> yeah, almost 53, it'll be 53. And you had to put up with me. Now that, that's an accomplishment in itself, and most people it understand that. Is. <laughs> it uh, it's been a really good time, and happy to be able to celebrate with a few of our friends, uh, Lorna's birthday. And uh, this, Jason, beside me is my youngest sister. This is Judy Gal. Her husband is here earlier. He had to sleep. Uh, leave. <laughs> so he had to sl slip away. And sleep. <laughs> this is Judy, um, gal, my sister, and uh, then Lorna, you know. And if you sneak around over there with the camera, this is Dave and Donna Wellam. This is Lorna's old sister. Very <laughs> old. old. <laughs> the, the, the oldest one she has. Just slightly older than me. Not much. But, uh, six months. Six months is that all? Seems longer, doesn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's Dave beside her. Dave just had his birthday this past week, and he turned 87. Seven. 87 years old. But now. he doesn't look a day over 82. No. <laughs> at least 86. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyways, Dave and Donna, Lorna's oldest sister. And then beside them is... Uh, uh, Pastor and Mrs. Ellen Sonia Heath. Uh, Ellen, <laughs> Ellen Sonia, uh, of course, we live together in our home here in the we do. upstairs and downstairs. We it's try to, we see each other once in a while, like every day. Yes. Um, nice to have uh, uh, our daughter and her husband to get along really well. We're thankful to God for that. So, on our birthday, that's what we thought would be a great thing to have uh, these folk with us. Some others down at the camp or at the cottage, they can't be with us. Um, I don't know, can you walk out in front of it for a second? Say hi, Jason. And just say uh, hi yourself. Well, triple. And, you uh, have to put it down on Right, tonight he's trying to be our techie guy. And uh, so as long as he doesn't trip do on the calendar, I mean the tripod. There we go. Do you want to come around for one second? I don't know how far you'll let you get away way over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There, there he goes, yeah, Jason. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Yeah. <laughs> he, he snuck into his position. Uh, J Jason is 27. He lives here in uh, Oshawa, Pickering as well. And um, he helps us with a few things around, including posting our videos for us. And we're really thankful for that. We're, we're going to be gone for about two months. Not, not out of life. We're still going to be alive. But uh, we're, we're going to be going off for July and August because... Um, summertime seems to be a time when most people are away on holiday. There are a lot of other activities on, and so have we. And uh, so we just thought maybe best to take a bit of a rest for these next two months. So we won't be with you next week, which is the last um, Thursday of the month of June. But we'll be coming back again sometime in September, Lord willing. Um, if you want to keep in touch with us, that'd be wonderful. You can do it by email. The other thing is, I just know we can't stay away from the piano or the keyboard very long, so we'll probably be doing something sometime in the summer, uh, but we're not going to post to tell you. You'll just look on our Facebook page. So if you want to see any of our videos, look back on our Facebook page. Jason has posted them there for us going back uh, over a year now, and you can sit down and watch some of the good old hymns that we've been doing for the last while. Um, anyone else a favorite here, of course, that you'd like us to sing? It used to always be funny. When I pastored a church, uh, I would have lists of choruses that I could go. Whenever I ask somebody for a chorus, everybody froze. Nobody could remember one chorus. I couldn't remember a chorus. Nothing would come through What's my mind. What's your favorite one? Highway to Heaven. Well, oh, yeah, that's that's one that we do that once in a while. Do you mind? Well, that's you one of that's one of many. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay, Lorna, you sing it out really loud because it's your birthday. <laughs> Gonna pick one this way. Yeah? <laughs>
I learned that song back in 1962. Oh. And why I remember that is uh, I was in California, in Los Angeles, and a famous new singer was just coming on the scene, oh, uh, a powerful black lady by the name of Doris Akers. Oh. And she had written many, many songs. And uh, Someone asked me when I was going to college, or somebody asked, would you like to come to church on a Sunday night? So we said, sure. Because um, I didn't have a car we weren't getting around in Los Angeles much, so I thought any evening out would be good. They drove us down into um, an area near Long Beach, California, and we went into this church. It was seating 2,000. Now, back then, that was a pretty good-sized church. The place was jam-packed at the doors, and uh, there was a piano and organ either side. There was a huge choir of 100 people, maybe 150. And um, all of a sudden, the piano and the organ started, just the music, and in both doors there walked a choir. This choir was, I guess it was 50 on either side because by the time they got there, it was 100 plus. But they came in both sides down the aisle singing It's a Highway to Heaven. Well, the place just went electric. It was just absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's back before the days when uh, there were these kind of you know, musical performances. But it was, it was quite spectacular. But I think they sang for about an hour almost, the choir sang for about an hour and Doris Akers was leading them, many different songs. But I remember the spectacular thing for me was at the end of singing, before the guy preached it all, his, his, his title was the Sky Pilot. Uh, Aubrey was his first name, maybe get it later, but he, he was called the Sky Pilot, the pastor. Before he preached, he got up, he says, I think we should just have an altar call right now. And probably two or three, four hundred people got up, walked to the uh, altar and walked the aisles up to the altar to accept Christ as their Savior. And I thought, wow, that's, that's the power of music, even before there's any preaching, and all the power of music can draw people to Christ. Well, it's a highway to heaven, and none can walk up there but the pure in heart. Let's just pray for a minute before uh, we sing the last couple songs. Our Heavenly Father, we're thankful for the power not only of music, but the power of the Word. Your, your Word, the Scripture declares, is sharp and powerful. So I pray, Lord, that you'll help us to remember that music can have that same effect on people. It touches the heart, touches the soul. It comes right into the mind, into the heart. It causes people to be transformed because they hear the words of the gospel through music. So let us never forget that, Lord. And we also know, Lord, that by the power of music, many people who are depressed and discouraged, despondent, maybe some are even suicidal. But when they hear some of the singing of the songs, Again, hope is birthed and is sprung into life in their lives. So I pray that we'll never give up on good Christian music. As far as we know, Lord, it's one of the only religions that really promotes music because there's such hope in the Christian faith. So for those that don't know Christ as their Savior, we pray for them this evening. They'll come to know Christ. For those that are ill, and we've heard of many, we've heard of others, Lord, that have been contracting other illnesses lately. We pray that you'll be with each of them. We pray that they'll look to you for healing and the touch of God. For those, Lord, that are bordering on despair, they're finding much of the world falling apart. They're, they're not amongst those who have. They're amongst those who have not. And so they're seeing their life slip away from them with rising prices, inflation, and costs. I pray, Lord, that you'd be with them. and I pray that this will be a day that the church will rise to help those who have not, like, like never before. Not with just a bag of potato chips or a, a can of fresh vegetables or fruit or something, but Lord, that our, our hearts will be opened in a great way to help the needs of our brothers and sisters. So thank you for our time together, Lord, and we pray that this summer will be a great summer for those of our friends that are watching both here and around the world. We pray, Lord, that you'll meet their needs and that you'll be their ever-present help in time of trouble. It's your promise to us, Lord. So we claim the promise and we cling to the promises of God. And we give you thanks in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. 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 Did you find another chorus there? Lorna? <laughs>
George says, happy blessed birthday, dear Lorna. God bless you. And Timothy Jerem says, happy birthday, Lorna. Uh, Art Soller says he's watching while walking in a park tonight in Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Noreen, uh, Noreen Running is watching. Hi, Noreen. Say hi to Ray Forrest, please. And then Lynette Langman said, yesterday, today, and forever, Jesus is the same. I don't know if that's a song. Yes, yes. it is. Of course, okay. Yeah. And then she just said, reception has been bad the last few minutes. So. Oh. Yeah. Yes. sending me an email asking for a copy of our new book called The Evangelist. If you'd like a copy, it's free. One of the people who supports our ministry believes in what we do. They sent us a check to pay for the entire book printing. So if you'd like a free copy of it, in North America, I'll be sending a paper copy. Overseas, I'll be sending a PDF. Two or three of them had a brother from uh, Pakistan uh, yesterday. We sent a copy off today. He responded saying thanks. They'll be using that book, parts of it, in some of their teaching notes in their college there in Pakistan. So uh, that's been happening in different places. And we give it freely. The song says, Freely You've Received. It goes like this. And what you get freely, you will love to hear that. You'll be able to give freely.
thank you for joining us this evening, and we trust you've enjoyed the sing-alongs this spring. We've been going pretty well non-stop since uh, we started back there in about March. So thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. If you like it, push the like button, please. Even after we hang up, it's still there on the Facebook. You can still push the button. So we'd appreciate that. And if you push the share button, the share button will probably add another 50 or 100 views. Every time you push that share button, it brings in a whole new group of people. And if you want people to hear the, the gospel and the truth through music, that's the best way that we can do it through the sing-alongs. Thank you once again. May God bless you. Have a good summer. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.